more about the three men killed yesterday in a triple shooting in Milwaukee. The medical examiner's report says those killed include 26-year-old Anthony Thompson, 39-year-old Tyrese McKinney, and 52-year-old Clarence Harris. The CBS 58's Frank Healy is in the newsroom with more on the shooting. Frank. Mike and Natalie, medical examiner reports tell us that these men's bodies were pronounced dead at the apartment near 54th and Mill around 1.30 p.m. yesterday after police were first called there sometime around noon. All three deaths are being investigated as homicides. The Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office identified the men as 26-year-old Anthony Thompson, 39-year-old Tyrese McKinney, and 52-year-old Clarence Harris. The report says both Thompson and McKinney were identified by their mother. Thompson and Harris both lived at the apartment building where they were found dead. Harris's brother told us over the phone he was worried about getting this call one day. He had wanted his brother to move out of Milwaukee to be farther away from violence. Acting Mayor Cavalier Johnson spoke at the scene. What the fact of the matter that we have just too many people who solve uh, disputes with guns and too many of those people who, who would cause death and destruction uh, in our city have too easy access to guns and we need to stem the tide of that. He went on to call on state legislators for help. Let's put some common sense reforms in place to stop them from having the access. Antonio Tate says he was close friends with Thompson. He doesn't know if that would really help. You know, it had never stopped. You know, violence never stopped in Milwaukee. You know, it's basically just getting started. I asked him if he had any idea what he thinks could help stem the tide of violence. I don't know. I really can't even answer that question. Family tells me tonight there will be a vigil for one of the victims, Clarence Harris, at Buffman Chambers around 6 p.m. In the newsroom, Frank Healy, CBS 58 News. Frank, thank you. And police are still looking for the person responsible. As a community, we can help stop crime. If you have any information to share, please contact Milwaukee Crime Stoppers. You will always remain anonymous.